Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with morning chit chat. It is Friday, y'all, and we made it. Oh, why my thing is not? It feels like it's loose up here, and like it might fall at any minute. What y'all think? Y'all think it's loose? You think it might fall at any minute? <laughs> like it but I ain't messing with it <laughs> so um oh my song I might have to come back to y'all because I love this song in this room Miracles are breaking off in your house. Declare your miracle in this room. Miracle in this room. Got my name on it. Healing in this room. This is here for you. The breaking in this room. My name on it. Church on that one. <laughs> Woo! Gonna put a praise on it. I'm gonna put a praise. Yes. So I'm gonna put a praise on it. Where my praises at? Put your hands up in the comments. Show me my praises. Makes you want to go to church. Hey! Gonna put a praise. Woo! Yes. Okay, let me cut this down for you. You two be kicking it off, okay? I want y'all to get y'all praise on it. Oh my God, I'm going to put a praise on it. That wasn't even what I was coming to talk about, but you see how God works? Woo, sometimes you got to praise your way through situations circumstances oh my god you got to put a praise on it you got to claim it that there is a blessing in this room and it's got my name on it oh my goodness i'm gonna tell you something y'all you just gotta claim that thing you gotta grab it out of the air you gotta bring that thing into manifestation you gotta talk about it you gotta claim it you gotta say it you gotta repeat it until people tired of hearing it <laughs> They be like, what is she talking about? Look at what's going on. She ain't nowhere in God's creation. Da, 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 da. Let them talk, honey, because guess what? There's a miracle in this room, and it has got your name on it. You got to tell yourself that thing. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation it is, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to get my breakthrough. Yes, I am. Woo! Yes, I just thank the Lord on today for that. Got to put a praise on it. And I don't mind praising him wherever I go, whatever I do. 
I will praise him. I will always give him his honor. I will always give him his glory. I will always magnify and lift up his most holy and precious name. I know I play around, I joke a lot, and I do some things that sometimes you be like, hmm, Miss Natalie, what? WWJD, what would Jesus do? I get upset, I get mad, I run these lips, but guess what? I still love the Lord. He knows I love the Lord. That's why the word tells us that God looks at the heart and man looks at the outer appearance. You'll look at somebody and feel like they're not worthy, but God looks at their heart and he knows their heart. Am I perfect? No, I'm nowhere near perfect. I'm just terrible. I'm just a sinner, 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 sinner. But I am forgiven. <laughs> I am forgiven. Yes, I am forgiven. And I thank God for his grace and his mercy that has carried me thus far. And like I tell y'all every morning, I thank God for giving me another chance to get it right. Just to be able to open my eyes up on this side of the earth and things that I didn't get right yesterday, I got a chance that I can get it right today. And that's why I can praise him. That's why I can thank him. That's why I can magnify him. Because you don't know what I know. <laughs> Y'all remember that old song, What the Lord Has Done For Me? <laughs> he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's blessing me right now, oh, right now. He just keeps blessing me. I'm telling you, I look to the left, there's a blessing. To the right, there's a blessing. Above me, there's blessings. Blessings all around my feet. Look behind me. Uh, I'm leaving trails of blessings. You, you, you get me? You know what I'm saying? I am blessed coming in and I am blessed going out. And you know, these are my affirmations for today. You know, no matter what the circumstance look like, no matter what the situation looks like, guess what? I am blessed on today. And I thank him. And I thank him. And that is my morning chit chat for today because I was just going to talk about something silly, not even really much of nothing. I was going to talk about how to get away with murder and West. <laughs> That's all I had in plan. Oh, but God got a way of coming in and getting his point of cross. You know, sometimes we are always just rushing, 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 rushing to get nowhere sometimes. Just rushing in life, rushing our lives away, and we don't take time to stop and thank God for all that he has done for us. You know, we sit and we perseverate and we think about all the bad that's gone on in our life and we forget about our good. And sometimes we got to look and say, mm, wait a minute, it could have been worse than that, but look at that. And when you get counting up those days, guess what? When I get counting up those days, I'm going to confess all of my good days definitely outweigh my bad days and I refuse. I will not complain. I will not complain. Sometimes the complaints come out of my mouth. You know, I have been complaining. Oh, I'm hurting. Oh, this. I can't get my knee up. I can't move. I can just hinder it. I'm alive. I can feel those pains. There is somebody that's laying there that has no feelings who's been paralyzed. They would love to know what it felt like to have a pain in their lower extremity. To be able to get up and walk on it. To say, oh, I'm hurting. They would love to feel that. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody there today that has had a stroke that would love to be able to talk and let their words flow eloquently. Not me, I'm country. Y'all know I ain't got no eloquent speech. <laughs> but they would love that. There's somebody who would love to see. Like we complain about, oh, that color. It's so dull. It's so dark and drip. They would find it beautiful just to be able to see what we're saying is so dark and dreary. It would be beautiful in their eyes. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? There's somebody who cannot hear, who would love to hear the birds chirping that we fuss about. They, uh, or they keep it too much noise. It's too early in the morning. Or the children keeping a lot of loud noises and moving around. People would love to see those things, to experience those things. They are sitting in dark and in silence. And we have all of this that God has given us. And we sit around and we complain. And we waste time complaining, just wasting time away. But today, I choose to be positive. I choose to thank God. I choose to appreciate what God has given me. And I choose to use it to the best of my ability to serve 
him and only him. I'm not a man server. I'm not a man pleaser. I only choose to please God. And with that, sometimes you don't have that many friends that you want to have. But some things you just you just got to set a standard and you got to stick with those standards. And you can't let people drag you down when you know you're on a purpose, you're on a mission. You just got to keep moving forward. And I don't know why I'm saying all these things. Somebody out there <laughs> needed these things this morning that listened to me. And I hope someone has, you know, they find it. I hope they find something in this message this morning that's going to be a blessing to them. That's going to uplift and it's going to encourage them to know that they can make it. I hope they get the encouragement that they need that they can make it. You know, sometimes situations seem so dark and so gloom. And you feel like you can't see your way out. Can't see your way through it. But just know that God is able. He's able. He's willing. He's right there. He's listening. Sometimes you feel like, I don't even know what to say to God. If the only thing you can do is hum, then you hum. <laughs> if the only thing you can do is cry, you cry. Because God knows your heart. God knows everything. You don't have to guess. You don't have to wait for you to tell him. Well, God, this is what God knows everything. You don't have to say it. You can just, just say, God, I surrender. I surrender all to you. Whatever it is, just say, God, I surrender. I give it to you. But just know that when you give it to him, don't go back dibbling and trying to fix it yourself. Just give it to him. Give it to him and watch him work it out. Give it to him and go about your father's business. Be a blessing to someone, not a curse. You know, let people find your coming as pleasant. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let people be like, oh, God, here she come. You don't want that about yourself. You want to enter with a spirit of praise and be in an atmosphere of people are glad to see you coming. Whether you're bringing them something or not, whether they're getting something from you or not, just your presence makes people happy, makes people smile, it makes them laugh. That's what you want to be. That's how you want to be in this life. I, I don't want people to say, mm, here come Natalie. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want that about me. So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to get off here for now. And like I said, I hope this blessed somebody. And, you know, to those of you who are under the sound of my voice, <laughs> don't forget to give God... Okay, Mr. Truck, I want to pass you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tractor. Don't forget to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's a blessing to be able to get it right again, okay? I'll talk with you in the next video. Bye now.